clap your hands, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, clap again, clap again, clap your hands, clap your hands. No, 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 I didn't hear you. Now make noises of joy, make noises of joy. I want everyone outside to hear my gamble you. Come on, come on, let's make some noise for Jesus. We're here for Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to his name. Glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You may be seated in his presence right now. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, we've just praised you and worshipped your precious name because you are so good. Hallelujah. As you know, dear beloved, today is a wonderful day of celebration. It's a wonderful, glorious day that we've come here to celebrate God not just in songs but also in hearing the word of god the word of god is very important because that's what nourishes our spirit that's what helps us to grow that's what helps us to become stronger in our faith and our walk in christ so together i want us to really really welcome a special brother who's going to come and give us the word of god for today are you ready to welcome him no no, no i didn't hear you i said are you ready to welcome our special brother are you really really ready are you really, really ready? Okay, put our hands together as we call forward Brother Junior to come and bless us with the word of God. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Glory, glory to the Lord. Good evening, brothers and sisters. If we could kindly just uh, stand up. And we're going to call for the Holy Spirit to come down so that we can prepare the platform to receive the word of God. There are 12 months in the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. What comes after September? November and we're in December. And I don't know how many people have died, but you're here and you're alive, so you have one thing to thank God for. Um, when you're in the house of God, there's no need to feel ashamed, there's no need to feel um, uh, any sense of someone's looking at me. Just feel free, because the word of God says that where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom, there's liberty. So be free, 
okay? And we're going to call for the Holy Spirit to come down, and then we're going to go through this, uh, the Word of God, and we've got a lot to get through. So, <clears throat> thank you very much, sister. We're going to pray together out loud. Heavenly Father, we want you to come down in this place, my Lord, my Father. Your young people have come, they've assembled themselves today here, Father God. They haven't come to meet Jay-Z, they haven't come to meet Beyonce, they have not come to meet Britney Spears, they haven't come to meet their favorite rock star, they've come to meet God. So Father, in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father God, that you bring the Holy Spirit, my Lord, my Father, that you may touch the lives of your young people, Father God. In these end times, my Lord, my Father, as you prepare for your return, O oh Lord Jesus, you said in your word, when the Son of Man returns, will he, will he find any faith on the earth? My Lord God, you may not find faith amongst our fathers, you may not find any faith amongst our mothers, but Lord God, please find faith in your young people, my Lord, my Father. Raise up John the Baptist in his place, Father God. Raise up strong men and women. Raise them up, my Lord, my Father, because the word of God, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, needs to be preached throughout the whole world, Father God. Raise up soldiers, Father God, in this place, my Lord, my Father. Please bring down your Holy Spirit, Father God. Bring down your Holy Spirit, Father God. I can do nothing, Lord. I can do nothing, Father, unless your Spirit comes down. Otherwise, all of this will just be ceremony. Oh, Father God, you are the one who gives us the power. You say in your word, it is not by power, it is not by might, but it is by my Spirit, says God. So let's call for the Holy Spirit to come down. Come down, Holy Spirit. Come and speak to us. Come and strengthen us. Come and talk to us. We need your power. We need your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. I just want to thank uh, Pastor Elise and all the uh, heads of the church for entrusting me with such a huge responsibility. Uh, the Bible says that we should not seek to be many teachers because a teacher will face greater condemnation if he preaches anything which is not in the word of God. So thank you so much for entrusting me with such a huge responsibility. And um, it, I'm just completely overwhelmed by it because in my last year at Cambridge, this was the last thing on my mind. But obviously God had other plans. So we thank him for that. And maybe later on or perhaps uh, during our discussion, I may be able to share my testimony with you, but we really have to start going. So the topic of today, uh, the title, it, you may be seated, you may be seated, thank you. The title is um, Not Outside, Not Before. Am I correct in translating it that way, Sister Sandra? Yeah, she gave me a nod, so I'm right. Not Outside, Not Before. And uh, if you could kindly please open your Bibles to the Song of Solomon, chapter 2. The Song of Solomon, chapter 2, it's after Proverbs. Song of Solomon, or in some of your Bibles, it may be called the Song of Songs, chapter 2. If you haven't brought a Bible, please sit next to someone who has brought a Bible so you can read the Word of God with them. All right? Chapter 2, Song of Solomon, chapter 2, we're going to read... Uh, Verse 1, verse 1 to 7. 